Am I the astronaut for reacting strongly to my wife's request for more help at home? So I just had a clash with my wife. It's one of those situations where emotions ran high and I'm genuinely questioning whether I'm in the wrong here. So my wife and I had this understanding from the get go, you know, we both agreed to specific roles in our household dynamics. I'd take on the responsibility of being the primary breadwinner, working long hours to ensure our family's financial stability while she managed the household tasks and took care of our kids. It felt like a fair division of labor and it worked for us or so I thought. Recently, she approached me and expressed the need for more help around the house and with the kids. She told me that I was being lazy and an uninvolved parent. Instead of having a calm, rational conversation about it, I'll admit I lost my cool. I ended up telling her she was being lazy and ungrateful for not recognizing the sacrifices I make to provide for our family. I couldn't help but feel blindsided and frustrated. We had this agreement, this unspoken contract about who would handle what, and now she was asking for a renegotiation. I lashed out, and maybe I shouldn't have, but in the heat of the moment, it felt like my entire contribution was being disregarded. In my frustration, I went as far as to suggest swapping roles. Let her take on the pressure of being the primary earner while I handled all of the household chores and child care responsibilities. I felt like this would make her appreciate the effort I put into providing for the family. Instead, it just made her upset, and we got into a big argument, which ended in her running into our room and locking me out of it, and now she isn't speaking to me. Now, as I reflect on the situation, I wonder if I went too far. Did my reaction exceed the bounds of reasonability? I can't deny that my words were harsh and part of me regrets how the conversation unfolded. But at the same time, I can't shake the feeling that there's a level of justification in my frustration. So Reddit, I turn to you. Am I the astronaut for the way I reacted to my wife's request for more help at home? Oh, <sighs> what do you think? This this talk about the contract has me concerned. Um, OP says that it was an unspoken contract. So what they never, never talked about it. It was just a, it was like we had this mutual understanding. We had this unspoken contract. So it was a it was a it was an understanding that you assumed that you never had a real conversation for. Regardless, let's say you did have this this conversation and an arrangement ahead of time here. You're now into we don't know how, how long you've been married. We don't know how many kids that you have here. And, and, I, and I guess it doesn't really matter. At the end of the day, your wife is struggling and came to you and asked for more help, expressed more help. Now, the way that she did that probably wasn't the best way that she could have approached that. But you have to understand that she's fried and frustrated, right? She communicated to you rather than just allowing herself to continue getting frustrated and worn down and to the point where she resents you and then becomes indifferent to you. She expressed expressed her need for more help and i'm sure she could have done that in a better way but bro everything that you said here wasn't like uh now i you know i i know that she's frustrated by these things or these things i know are a lot of work and and i know that i could do more of this or i could do more of this and i know that this is really hard and i know she must be feeling this hell no everything that you responded here was me 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 do you not see that as a problem do you not see the problem here? You're like, oh, my contributions have just been completely discarded here. And yeah, her problem, her calling you lazy probably lit that fire. However, you, you, <laughs> you only focusing on, on your part of this and how you feel like you're not being, uh, you're not being recognized for your valiant effort here. How do you think she feels, man? How do you think she feels? And you're, <laughs> your rebuttal here about well, let's swap it let's swap it and see i think this would be an enlightening experience for you because not a damn thing of being a stay-at-home parent is easy that is work the whole time you are working she or she's working just as hard candy thunder and i actually had this conversation last night um and she she thanked me for working so hard for us and i'm like dude we both work the same amount of hard we just do it differently I do mine in a different setting and she carries more of the at home workload. But I understand that that is not easy work, especially if you've got toddlers involved that toddlers. If there are young children involved, they will break you. They will wear down your souls and they will break you like work complications. You know, that that kind of stuff is much easier to navigate than a toddler just looking at you and shaking her head, saying she won't take her Tylenol like it is. It is a, a not an easy gig being a stay-at-home parent. And instead of diving into that and trying to find a solution, trying to find some kind of compromise here, you're just like, I'm I'm not being recognized for my efforts here. 
that's a problem. And it also leads me to give you this. If you guys were truly a team, this wouldn't be a I'm the breadwinner. You handle all the home shit. It would be a uh, once I get home from doing the job that I have while I'm away from the home, then we're a team. Then we're 50 50. Then we're both tackling things that come up here, because guess what? If she's a stay at home parent and if she has young kids, it is a job the entire time that you're gone. And then when you get home, her job doesn't end. It just keeps going. And if you are using that time to like check out and to relax, she can't. And instead of jumping in and helping out, you're just like, Oh, I've done my, done my deal for the day. It's not okay, man. It's not okay at all. And if anybody is being taken for granted here, it's your partner. Notice that word partner. You've got to start acting like a team here instead of having the meanies. You got the meanies too hard here, man. You're going to have to get over yourself, check the ego at the door and do what's best for your family. And while you think that may be being the primary breadwinner here, it's not enough. It's not enough to just be the earner. If that's the case, then go stay in a hotel and send checks. If you're going to be there, you have to actually be there. You have to be present. You have to be helping with things. You have to be a part of the family and you have to be on your partner's team. So the question here is, am I the astronaut for reacting strongly to my wife's request for more help at home? So as I said before, I'm sure that the, I'm sure that the wife, when she finally made this request was doing it out of a, a, a moment of passion and was like, listen here, you lazy son of a bitch or was more fired up than she intended to be because she's fried. But instead of trying to help at all, you just got defensive. So definitely could have done it differently. Should, definitely should have done it differently. Definitely shouldn't have reacted the way that you did. Is this an ask on one offense? Tony Spark, Candy Thunder, thoughts? Is this an ask on one offense? He's at minimum a two. I think, he's, I think he took it far enough, though, to get here. I think he took it far enough to be an ask on one and to be completely selfish completely selfish and and not once in all of this think about why she might be struggling what it might be that's making her feel this way and what he could do to help alleviate that no he he had this it's not my job mentality and typically the people with the it's not my job mentality don't make good leaders man and you have to be a leader here you have to be a part of your wife's team you have to otherwise you are putting yourself in a position where She's going to become indifferent with you, and then you're going to have a much more complicated situation here. You're not going to get to see your kids as much. And again, I don't, you know, there are plenty of, we have a blended family and not all the kids are with us all the time. And we're, we're a happy family with happy kids. But if you have the opportunity to fix things here, and this is a a marriage that you want to stay in, I think you have a responsibility to actually work the problem instead of making the problem bigger. 